Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, and welcome back to Full Throttle Remastered. Um, we are currently um, just hanging out in the back of the Vulture's giant-ass fucking, what is it, an airship or something that they've got? These are crafty little vultures, aren't they? And this is the bike that Maureen restored with her dad, and wouldn't you know it, there's a code here somewhere. It's one of these. I think it's 154492. Could be one of these, but I don't think it randomizes. I think it's 1544.92, and I'll probably have to go back and check the fucking recording just to remember that. 1544.92, I'm terrible at this. Anyway, let's have a little chat with Maureen and uh, have her set up one of the absolute worst puzzles in the game. How are we going to get in the factory? In the back of the factory, there's a secret entrance that leads straight into Dad's office. Sounds he easy, right? Me in so I could help him with his bike designs. No problem. And he got though. too old to do all the work himself. Nah, this is back when I was six. Nah. Mm. <laughs> How do I How find, do I the, find secret the secret passage? passage? Well, it's tricky. You have to wait for all the utility meters to turn black. Then you kick the wall in just the right spot, and you're in. What? What in the fuck? Yeah, and exactly. How do I find the right spot to kick? Dad just knew exactly where to kick. You can't push it. You can't touch it. You have to kick it. You can't just uh, snap someone's head off and roll it up against it like a fucking bowling ball. No, you have to kick it. Because at this point, LucasArts, or Tim Schafer, I think, in particular, uh, realized that, oh my god, we have this kick Here, icon. Take the photos. I don't want or to verb to or whatever you want to call it. We have to use it for something. 154492. 154.92. That had better be right. Oh well. Let's go over the back of the factory, shall we? And this! Now I've been told that they've actually made this puzzle slightly easier and I think you can see if this is the spot I'm supposed to kick then they've sort of highlighted it with this little green dab here. That's very nice of them. So, there you go. Yeah, that was it. So they made that puzzle a lot easier. You should try this in 320 by 200 resolution, where, where you know, all the cracks and shit are just pixelated globs of messy pixelated globs, really. Ah, uh, that was just awful. Terrible, really. I could have spent days on that screen, but I didn't. So thank you, uh, Double Fine, for that, at least. But there's a floor safe, and I will have a looksy insy. It's 154492. 154492. Holy crap! My memory is amazing! Not really, okay. but. I sure hope that's Corley's will. I have no idea why that, the subtitles just jumped <laughs> up and down the screen. That was fun. Ooh, look at that. Now that's art. Oh, indeedy. So anyway, what do we get? Uh, we got a shitload of bunnies still. Oh, we got two. Um, Mo gave me the photos of her dad's murder. We didn't pick that up from the uh, uh, safe, but I we sure picked... hope that's Corley's will. He left it on a reel-to-reel -reel tape. Interesting. Okay, so we got the will, and that uh, the they forgot to add the voice file for the um, key card. But anyway, that's cool. It just says Corley Motors. So, uh, let's disrupt the shareholders' meeting, shall we? Let's get that in there. Cool. <laughs> I love his... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Looks like the meeting started. ...was not only an inspirational leader, but also a great personal friend. His loss affects us all deeply. Oh dear, you can just see the crocodile no tears eyes. streaming oh, down his face. We talked of a day when Corley Why Burgers why was Ripburger hired that long ago when uh, when when Corley still had hair? And this and just makes no death, sense. Why would he hire this sleaze bag? Because he's got uh, business know how and killer instincts that he respects. Malcolm Excuse Corley's me. Dream remains. Oh dear god. And I shall carry out that dream in his memory. <laughs> the music is just so ominous. To Welcome the to the Motors. shareholders meeting of doom. The and there it is. There it fucking is. 
I mean, they couldn't even be bothered to draw that thing properly. I know. <laughs> and this, this is also where the, uh, uh, where the plot takes a slightly silly turn. Because, you know, the entire plot is to stop the greatest motorcycle maker in the country from making minivans. Yes, minivans. Uh, so, let's just... I've never actually worked out how to do this. I, I just dig around with the... Uh, oh, wait, no, no, I remember. There, we overexposed the film. And leave. What you see before you right now is my vision for me. Yeah, there we go. Didn't even mess that up once. I'm a genius. <laughs> oh, perfect. This is a disaster. I love Mavis, You're by the way. Me? That's Mavis. We're gonna have some She's awesome. Downtime here. Why don't you tell a joke or something? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know any jokes. <laughs> this reminds no, me of an amusing this anecdote. This reminds me of an amusing anecdote. <laughs> uh, about a... Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, Mark Hamill doing his absolute fucking best. <laughs> this is so great. Well, I'm out of ideas. Fuck this. I don't get paid enough for this shit. Alright, so uh, Mavis is out of the room. Kind of sad, really, we didn't get to see more of Mavis. I could always go back, of course, but, uh, hey, I am not I going to. All over the company from here. And he's just stalling for time. However, we're going to stick My the uh, murder photos on this Etzel Easel kind of thing. Now, kind of wrong side up. Slide but... shows our new, more aggressive corporate hey, You know, that... The joke here is, oh, our next uh, corporate aggressive strategy kind of thing. But he was in the middle of telling a joke, wasn't he? Also, uh, with the black and white, that looked like spooge on his face, but I'm, okay, I'm cool with that. Hello there. If you're hearing this, Disruption! Well, people gotta move on, you know, and make room for other people. Let's and pour one out for I'm our homie. I'm not actually gonna pour it out, I'm gonna drink I've it. I've made room for someone else to take my place at Corley Motors. And it ain't that embezzling crook, Adrian Ripper. He was embezzling too? Rip, you don't belong at the head of my company. You belong in jail. Which is why I kept you on the payroll for so many years. Uh, I let that man talk me into far too many things. <laughs> but the less I said about that, the better. Assistant. What happens in the he back of the limo stays in the back of the limo. I should have stood by her. I hope, Maureen, that you forgive me. And that you take over Corley Motors and run it however you This was not meant to be played in public, right, was it? enough. How do I turn this damn thing off? <laughs> I... Uh, uh, did someone just start applauding? I no, they're hissing and booing. <laughs> just, it sounded vaguely like one of them was just going, Yeah! Oh, yeah, no, no. Psychiatric session. Uh, yeah, and sure. The what end, the hell was he that? Suffered many paranoid delusions. Ah, he was um, by how did you get in? Of his own creation. And here's one of them. I'm a mirage. Boom, get the Ladies fuck out of my way. My name is Maureen Corley, and do I have a heck of a story for you? I'm just gonna take a frightening I'm along dead, while, and this dude this man should be in jail. is just gonna hey. hobble his way out of here. Where'd he hobble off to? Uh oh. There he goes. Maybe I should be doing something. <laughs> and now. And then he sent his goons after me. <laughs> Run, Ben! Run! Where did that truck come from? Nobody knows. Run, Rip Burger. When it's time to find you, we'll just follow the shiny trail. You know, because he's a, he's As a, a slug. Fourth, we'll have daycare facilities. Any other questions? Yeah, oh, what happened to the echo in that last devil. line? Come over here, Ben. Yeah, because we enjoy the spotlight, don't we? Hi. No. Speak for yourself. Well, that's the end. Um, so, roll credits. Everything's good. Um, go I think we can all agree that was a find out why my very, very great uh, piece of interactive and fiction. You go business suit shopping. Ooh. Don't remind me. Business suit shopping. Yeah. Don't complain. You're going to be rich. At this point, I settle for just a little piece of. So anyway. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, please like, subscribe, do whatever you kids do. I couldn't keep that up, sorry. Yeah. We're gonna have to get a little messy here, because Rip Burger has finally lost his shit. Ah, uh, nice piece of animation there. The, uh, yeah. Um, would you? Nah, never mind. Never mind.
inch bend. She really shouldn't have. Mark Hamill almost going full Joker. Inherent dangers of the cycle operation. Can't you make this damn thing go any faster? Sorry, Mom! You know, her three sons and one. I've actually really been looking forward to seeing how uh, they've uh, done all of this shit with the remastered version because this is when things start getting a little high octane on us. I'm just gonna pop the grill here and then pop the panel. Hello, I shall have your cane! What? You son of a bitch! What? Will you please do what I ask? Thank you! Mine! Dumb fuck. Ah, was that? Ah, wait, 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 wait. Of course. <laughs> Funny the first time. Funny the second time. Also, it's just about to play right of the Valkyries. That's I love that. Anyway, this has very all been a lot of fun, but let's stop the show for a bit and leap straight through the fucking truck while it's still moving. That's okay. Cool indeed. Let's loosen some nuts here. I, I mean, I, I would love to actually see if you can brain Ripburger over the head I with it. Didn't know I oh, come on. One swift fucking uh, whack to the head and you'll be all done with. Alright, we can do this the hard way. And how she is still holding on, I have no fucking idea. And he just puts it back? Oh dear, he's armed, isn't he? Well, absolutely nothing can go wrong from here. Oh wait, maybe it can. It's just me of the sound effects really subdued in this version. This used to be like loud as all shit. Did I accidentally turn something down? No, because no, these sound effects are loud enough. I said it couldn't fly. I never said it couldn't taxi. Well, flying would be nice if we're heading for the gorge. That was one of those shots where you just go, okay, they just... They just did that because they were out of time. They were the... How do you stop this thing? From the cockpit! Yep. And the second we make a move for it, he's gonna shoot at us. Doc. And Ben's just standing there going, What? I do this every... This is like a Saturday for me. And the dude with the... You know, Jody so LaForge the down there is just doing fuck all. He's just going, I'm not even in this game. Right, let's just uh, hammer some controls. Uh, maybe we ought to stop this thing. Uh, so, let's put down the gear, shall we? Water landing, runway landing. No, that's not it. Uh, take off? Uh, pre take off? No. Mid take off? No. Post take off? Gear! Uh, race gear? Here goes nothing. I don't work. There's an awful lot of menu options in there, and you're on a timer, so I'm actually kind of impressed that I remembered. Again, it's been like, I don't know, 10 years since ben, I played what did this? You do? I've played it so many times, it's absolutely ridiculous. And you know what? People say that adventure games can't have action packed, uh, you know, sequences, and uh, uh, Full Throttle really puts that to shame because holy shit, an awful lot is happening right now and they really they do this thing where they up the stakes ben, constantly ben, constantly are this you is alive? um but I who's that dude Rick who directed uh i can see him he's out cold true, like james cameron Climb well he's good at, he, he's good at action films um so yeah this is james cameron level shit let's just that's the only act um jonathan dem i don't know people who are good at action movies i don't watch action movies fuck it hi ribby how you doing let's just climb down and kick his ass uh, that could be fun. Anyway, let's get back in here. And this was such fun the first time. Hey, warning! This vehicle has been reported as stolen! I don't think that's going to be a problem. Anyway, defense mechanism. Detached trailer. I don't think so. Um, let's just uh, turn off the system so he has nothing to hang on to. Bye-bye! And a bit of poetic justice on your way down. Almost expect like a little puff of smoke to clear well, from the answers then. <laughs> uh, like the uh, Wiley e. Coyote style. Uh, right, let's get off the fucking. Uh, whoopsie! Did I take too long? 
Because that is not supposed to happen. I'm still on that fucking thing. That is not good. Nice explosion, though. Let me try that again. Yes, please. That would be absolutely awesome. Wait a minute. Why does it keep exploding on me? What did I do? Oh, it's because I'm trying to get back in the fucking cockpit. You piece of shit. Ouch. You could have told me that's what happened. The second he tries to climb in the, you know, fate, god, whatever, just decides, no, fuck you, buddy. You're not getting in the driver's seat of this shit. Okay, so... Let's get ready here, because everyone is fucking leaving, and that is not what? very nice Come of them. Back. Even Jordy LaForge is leaving! You piss bitch. You stay the fuck back here. And... You know, in the, in the old game, uh, which was not widescreen, you had to uh, walk left so that the screen would scroll slightly and reveal your bike. But here in the uh, in the widescreen version, you still have to walk left because I couldn't click on the bike while it was in frame. But, eh, well, this, this is a very nice shot. I like this. Except his his grin, his, his smile in the VGA version was a big... Life and this one was kind of like a... To him. And he played it. By his own rule. I have no idea who the uh, heavy set he person is. Um, a mystery. I'm guessing it was <laughs> a different and heir yeah. to the court. No, maybe An it's uh, Maureen's mom. I don't know. To us all. Uh, he gave us freedom. He Dirty gave LaForge, us squinting his eyes. He gave us wings. He gave us wheels. Thank you. Malcolm Corley, giving us a dream that will never die. Stop blowing your nose anytime, lady. That's a bit weird. So. Wait a minute, they added music to this bit. Uh, maybe we could do lunch sometime next week. Yeah. Wait, sure. whoa, 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 dude. Now see, the powerful Things thing about about this thing. scene was I that mean, they completely cut all the music and it was now. just dialogue. In a mansion, I uh, and I don't know I'm talking over the dialogue, but hey, if, if you're watching this on my channel, you know it. where this game is going. You're in a different lead now. You shouldn't be hanging out with the likes of. You know, the music is really but killing then, the scene. Actually, I know it's just a it's, second. it's it's uh, supposed Hello? to be a morose scene. What? No, 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 that's crazy. See, it's that's where nice. the music was supposed Look, to kick in. Meeting up to five and tell the plant foreman that I'm coming over personally to inspect also, those parts. Kath Susie's I really giving him the business. <sighs> yeah, Ben just went, I am not having this part? shit. I'm no, out. No, 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 that alloy was flawed to begin with. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Good. Great. When I'm on the road. Yeah, it's back to writing on your road journal, isn't it? You emo biker. In memory of Roy Conrad, uh, the voice actor who played Ben, he sadly passed away for reasons I can't remember, but, uh, yeah, sorry about that. So, very nice of them to add that to, um, to the credits. Also, I'm gonna let the credits roll here for a bit and maybe do some, uh, do some edits because, uh, these are funny credits. I don't remember a time when they used to put, you know, funny credits in games. Um, actually, Wait a minute, is the credits kind of coming out of the road? In the original, it was kind of coming up from behind, uh, you know, behind the horizon thing, and that was the... Ah, fuck it. Anyway, sorry, I, I'm just spending a lot of time uh, in this game comparing it back and forth to the original VGA version, and that's... Um, really, it's kind of a disservice, I guess, because this, uh, this has to stand on its own, and, you know... For my money, if you want the, like, the quick review, I think it actually kind of did. Um, it is... Of the three uh, Double Fine remasters that they've put out so far, they have the Technical Grim Fandango and then this, I think this is the one that benefited the least from an HD, uh, you know, ramp up or whatever, because um, the, uh, um, the graphics clearly were not designed to be shown in a big resolution. I mean, you can kind of, you can almost see it on this screen too. I mean, all of this was supposed to be nicely gritty, shaded kind of thing, uh, you know, in the uh, pixel art uh, resolution and it just uh, doesn't um, it doesn't gel. I mean, Grim Fandango I can understand. It's got 3D graphics in it. Uh, Day of the Tentacle has this cartoony graphics that that look very very good in upscale. This kind of um, it almost looks a little cheap if you put it in uh, full you know HD resolution. 
which is uh, sad because the original was just so beautiful. And that's really my main gripe with the HD remaster. Now what they've done with it on the audio uh, part, I'm cool with, except for that fucking music cue at the end. But it's nice to, you know, listen to the biker metal-ish uh, soundtrack in nice uh, fidelity, because it really kind of sucked in the original, I'm sorry to say. Um, and, uh, you know, the cleanup of the voices and all that. Uh, the audio portion, as it was with Grim Fandango and Dave the Tentacle, is just top-notch. Um, they, um, they fixed a, a few of the interface gripes that I had with the original, like you had to hold down the mouse button to get the wheel to pop up. I hated that, so I'm glad they fixed it so you only have to click. Um, so anyway, it's a good remaster and it's a good enough excuse to sit down and play uh, Full Throttle once again. Uh, if you already have the original, I think I still think it's uh, you know worth a dough to, to shell out because the audio is just fantastic. and. As much as they could, they cleaned up the graphics, but I think they kind of skipped down on a few bits. They didn't, uh, they, they didn't do anything fancy with it, and they didn't do anything super fancy with Day of the Tentacle either, but Day of the Tentacle just lent itself so much better. I mean, they didn't put in extra animation frames or anything. It is basically the old game painted over with new graphics, as was Day of the Tentacle, but Day of the Tentacle just lent itself so much better to HD remastering, so... Anyway, uh, they still have a credit for Boot Disk Maker. I remember running the install program on the original, on my old 486, and it said, you know, this game is really kind of a beast. You might want to make a boot disk. And if anyone doesn't know what a boot disk is, it's basically a floppy disk that copies, you know, the, the installer will copy only the most relevant things you need, like a mouse driver and a sound card driver and shit onto it, and just leave everything else out so you can boot from that and start the game without anything else running. Ah, the good old DOS days. Sometimes I miss them, and sometimes I really don't. Incidentally, I was so kick-ass at managing my auto exec bat and config sys files, I didn't need a boot disk. Of course, I'm, I'm much more shit with computers these days. It's been over... I, oh, shit, it's been over 15 years since I built my, uh, uh, my, uh, my own computer. So, uh, so, building this rig that this game is running on was really... I mean, shit, they've actually made it quite a lot easier to, you know, put stuff together in a computer case, haven't they? I mean, no IDE cables you can plug. I don't know how many of my friend's hard drives I have fried over the years by just simply plugging in the uh, wrong IDE controls. Uh, and this is where the credits get kind of weird. Uh, and, and good in a weird way. Said it was a good idea, Hal Barward. Uh, designer of uh, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, and also some Hollywood stuff. Also missed Christmas. Almost drove him crazy. Vince Lee, the man who wrote the uh, insane engine, the what, the movie player, essentially. The one that's controlling the old mine road and, and such. Uh, he was also the designer of Rebel Assault. Let other projects support a general coolness. And there's like a... I think that's just the entire, you know, payroll of LucasArts uh, back in the day. whined about not being in the credits. This is all just good. And at some point, things are just gonna go completely off the rails and uh, <laughs> unspecified wrangling. And people will start writing haikus. The credits just start pissing off haikus. Now the following bit of credit is where I utterly lost every respect I ever had for Tim Schafer. The team would like to thank the following cats. And then Tim would like to thank no cats and does not endorse cat ownership. Row, motherfucker, row. And now, the special biker haiku section! Bar fighters leap out, moths tangle with orange hot flame, my nose thrice broken. Splitting lanes at rush, Beamer tries for a cutoff, taste my righteous chain. Booming thunder rolls, clutch release, throttle open, red smear on pavement. Wet grease on the road makes me laugh as my buddy slides under a truck. On the road for days, two wheels, an engine, and me, I don't brush my teeth. Sky covers the land, dark goggles covers my eyes, speed covers my tracks. Wow, Hal Barwood really took this seriously, didn't he? Road rises upward, forehead smiles for the pavement, cranium tastes bad. Emma drops a load, green crab coats the road like snow, just take a little. I don't know if that's like a hint way, way too late, Ryan, but thanks. Todd doesn't like you. Bang on door but say nothing. Can you not talk? I got that one. 
Within the asphalt, hot leather, shiny metal. See, I am manly. My male fantasy, now a profit-making game. Maybe I'll get chicks. The end. Ain't other rules for a haiku. Um, five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables. And I did actually, as a kid, sit there and check them all out. And they do check out each and every one of them. And someone is going to go back and check them out and find one that doesn't match and be all over my ass because that's some, uh, apparently somehow my fault. Anyway, I've saved the best for last. The after credits, Bunny Stampede. See, it pays to stay after the credits. Let's just lean back and salute these brave, furry, little bastard soldiers. Oh no, there's not just one. There was the bunnies march off into the sunset. Look at that one wiggling his ass at the sunset, or actually at the camera. Um, I would just like to say thank you. Please like, subscribe, do whatever you kids do, but do leave me a comment, because I dearly love the comments. And uh, thank you for watching my playthrough of Full Throttle, the remastered version. I hope it wasn't too boring. Um, so, uh, thank you, and uh, hey, I'll see you around the Chrono Street. How do I turn this thing off?